I am Anil Kumar and now we are exploring trigonometric ratios in the domain of 0 to 360 degrees. Let us consider tan of 105 degrees. Now for this we need to find, we need to state sine of trigonometric ratio. We need to determine value of the trigonometric ratio, sketch angle and label principal and acute angle, sketch another angle that has the equivalent ratio, equivalent to given ratio. Okay, so these are four different parts which we need to do. Uh, I prefer to change the order a bit. We are working on tan of 105 degrees. So the principal angle is 105 degrees. So what we have here is, we'll do this part, sketch angle and label principal and acute angle first. Now for us, the principal angle, let me call this as theta, let me write it in different darkening. Theta is 105 degrees for us, correct? So we'll first sketch this angle and find the acute angle, okay? And then we'll do rest of the parts. Now, in a coordinate plane, horizontal x-axis going positive is 0, and then we have 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees, and one full circle is 360 degrees, correct? 105 is more than 90, less than 180, right? Therefore, the angle is somewhere here. So that is the principal angle theta for us. Is that okay? So that is 105 degrees, principal angle theta equals to 105. Now, whenever we say related acute angle, that is the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal. Let's call it beta. So related acute angle beta is equals to 180 degrees minus the principal angle 105. So let's take the calculator and calculate 180 minus 105 equals to 75. Okay. 75 degrees is our acute angle. Correct? Now let us begin with the very first part which says state sign of trigonometric ratio. We want tan of 105, right? Tan of 105. Since we are in quadrant 1, the sign has to be negative, right? When is tan positive? Tan is positive in quadrant 3, not in 2 or in 4. In quadrant 1, all are positive. In quadrant 2, sine is positive. Tan is positive in quadrant 3 and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. Since the terminal arm is in quadrant 2, we know the sine of tan 105 should be negative. Now the question is, determine value of the trigonometric ratio. So this we can do with the help of calculator. Tan 105 equals to, we get minus 2 minus square root 3. In decimal, it gives us minus 3.7320. So we'll write down the value, which is equals to minus 3.7320, right? Since they didn't mention how many places to round, we'll just keep it as such. Now we've already done part 3 and part 4 is sketch another angle that has the equivalent ratio. Now that's kind of important. How to find another angle that has the equivalent ratio? Now strictly speaking, negative value of tan will only be in quadrant 4 or in quadrant 2, right? So the other angle is in quadrant 4 and that should be how much? 360 minus the acute angle beta, right? So the other angle is 360 degrees minus beta, which is 75 degrees, correct? Minus this. Opposite angles are equal, right? Do you see that? So 360 minus that will give us another position. So we can use the calculator again and do 360 minus 75 and that gives us 285. So 285 degrees is the other angle which gives us the same answer. Let us check. So we'll do tan of 285 equals 2. So we do tan of just a check, right? 285 degrees is equals to, let's put it in decimals, minus 37320, right? I mean point, correct? So you can compare their exactly same values. So that is how you can actually answer these questions. 
So the important thing here is we have considered a couple of videos, I think four at least, based on similar background. We are trying to see within the domain of 0 to 360 degrees for a trigonometric ratio which are the two different angles which could have same value, right? And also we are trying to understand how to draw it, how to label it and how to find related acute angle. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.